So let me ask you a question. Does your lawn look like this? Or does your lawn look like this? So if you're dealing with any one of those conditions, you came to the right place and you're struggling with heat stress. So I'm gonna show you how you can be able to bounce your lawn back from heat stress. Good morning, everybody. Hope that you all are having a blessed day today. Now in this video, I just wanna give you one quick tip of what you need to do to bounce your lawn back if you're dealing with heat stress. Because a lot of people go throughout the whole summer, the lawn turns brown and they don't know what to do. So the main thing that you need to do to bounce your lawn back is you need to give it some water. Now let me go ahead and kill all the noise right now. I'm not saying that you need to overwater your lawn where you're running your water bill up to 200, 300 and 400 dollars, so on and so forth. Nobody wants to have a water bill that much, right? And you don't have to water your lawn that much to be able to keep it looking in a condition like this. So I'm going to tell you what you need to do, how often you need to do it, and then how you need to go ahead and stay on it and be consistent so that your lawn doesn't go into dormancy. But there's one thing I want to show you before we get into that. Now you all know that this area back here is my test plot, right? So I shot the video back here on how to water your lawn in the summertime. But if you look closely, there was a spot that was right here that was heat stressed. This spot over here was actually brown. And as you see right now, it's bounced back. So here's what I did for one solid week from Monday to Sunday. I came out here every single day and I watered that little spot right there for two minutes every single day. That was me basically being aggressive. We were still getting a lot of sun, so the sun was drying all the water up, but I was aggressively watering that spot for two minutes every single day. Now eventually sometimes here and there we would get a little rain not a lot of rain to be able to make that much of a difference but we still got some rain now when i watered that particular spot for that whole entire week the very next week once the grass started to grow i started to see that spot change and it started to change more and more and more and the more i started mowing it the more that that brown spot went away now that's just one small particular spot just to help you all out if you do have some small hot spot areas you can concentrate on those areas just by giving those areas some good deep watering now if your whole entire lawn is brown now we need to do something different so i've got a video out that tells you exactly how you need to water your lawn in the summertime but that video mainly is giving you tips on how to keep your grass green like so it doesn't tell you how to bounce your lawn back out of dormancy. So I'm going to show you a lawn that was dormant, but we bounced it back. So do you all remember the video where I showed you how to set up an above ground affordable irrigation system? As you can see from the older footage, this lawn had a lot of heat stress spots throughout the whole entire lawn. I mean, it was really hit with heat stress very very bad majority of the whole entire lawn was heat stress so what we did was we set up some timers we set up some water hoses we set up some sprinklers and then we started watering this lawn so anywhere between a half an hour to 45 minutes per cycle now when i came back to this lawn three and a half weeks later the lawn had completely changed the areas that were heat stress are no longer heat stress. The areas that were hit the hardest are no longer brown at all. And the only thing that we did was give it a little water. Now in the watering video that I had made, I had showed you these sprinkler gauges. Now, as you can see, this sprinkler gauge right here is filled up to a inch of water. What you want to do when you do bounce your line back this will be a helpful tool that you can be able to use. Get these things on Amazon, they may be like 10 or 11 bucks, and you wanna take them and spike them in your lawn, put them in your lawn, 
And then when you water your lawn with your sprinklers, all of that water is going to get collected into this. This is going to tell you how much water that you're actually getting. You want to go for at least an inch of water per week. That right there just means that you're getting some type of water instead of not getting anything at all. So at least you will know how much water that you're actually getting so you will better be able to plan how long you need to water your lawn per cycle. And let's just say for example, if you water your lawn for 30 minutes and it gets you in half an inch of water, then you know you need to water your lawn for another 30 minutes, another day throughout the week to give you another half inch of water that's going to equal up to one inch. That's all you need to do to maintain your lawn and to keep it green so that it won't bounce back into dormancy. So let's go ahead and recap really quick. If your lawn has gone into summer dormancy and you want to bounce it back and get it back money green, the only thing you need to do is give it some water. If you want to order some of these things that can be able to help you know how much water you're getting, this is a very good tool that you can be able to use. Now, if you don't want to water your lawn and you're fine with it being brown, then just leave it alone. When the temperatures does cool back in the fall time, your lawn will bounce back in the fall time. But if you want to keep your lawn green throughout the whole entire summer, which is the harshest weather for a cool season lawn, then you're going to need to give it some type of water. Remember, you want to at least give it an inch of water per week. So I hope this video was helpful to you all. Nobody wants to have a brown lawn, right? You just want to have that green lawn that you can be able to show off to your friends, show off to your family. But if your lawn has turned brown and you want to bounce it back, only thing you need to do is give it some water, be consistent, and have patience. And it will bounce back. I guarantee you that. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comment section and I answer them the best way that I can. Thank you all for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed one and I'll see y'all in the next one.